Okay, let's talk about something here. I, I, I gotta say, I did the video on the Magic the Gathering banning of the, of the Jeweled Lotus. I had a bunch of people tell me to suck it up, pretty much. It's a banned card. You know what? And I was reflecting on something I made four years ago. When that card was made, the Jeweled Lotus. Now, what are we seeing? Mana Vault going through the roof because someone's because you got to replace the Mana Rock. It's absolutely ridiculous. And you know what? This is the reason why I've quit. I've quit Magic the Gathering because I found no interest in it anymore. I found the absolute disgracefulness of Wizards of the Coast manipulating the market. And the Rules Committee has had this down the pipeline for over a year with Wizards of the Coast's help. So yes, there has been more than just the Rules Committee behind all of this. When it was created as a value card needed for every commander deck, I said it was a mistake. And I mean that. This card was an absolute mistake. It never should have been made. At all. Today, I returned to that video. You know, I, that's what, where I got. I returned to that video. And now I met with a community that tells me to suck it up uh, with this stupid ban that pretty much was foretold. I said, they can't ban this card. Because if they ban this card, you're going to have a market flux. You're going to have so many more things. I don't own a copy of this card. I will never own a copy of this card. I don't want to own it at this point. There's nothing in Magic the Gathering that will be sacred at that point. You know, if there's a cool art piece that comes out, like there was with the, uh, the War of the Spark, with the Liliana that was out there for the Final Fantasy VI artist that did it, Sure, that's something absolutely rare and unique, and I, I own a copy of that because it was sent to me. But for the Jeweled Lotus, yeah, sure, everyone wants a copy of this for their commander deck, but why at that point? You know, I'm not going to own a copy of the actual card. I'll go out there and make a proxy of it. I absolutely refused to purchase Commander Legends when that came out i said no i'm not going out there to buy this I'm buy this product it was way too inflated the value of it went through the roof why would i buy something like that because they put in this extra card that once again should have never been made over the last few years the course of power creep and market manipulation over cardboard has made the game very distasteful to even look at this is my problem with magic the gathering now what well, was once a game of discovery has now become a pay-to-win nightmare. Those with the cash to shell out for the extreme cost of entry feel entitled to win due to the nature of the game placed from Wizards of the Coast. This is the essence of where these, these games have gone. They're competitive. If you're not playing in the competitive scene, you're playing at your kitchen table and then these rules, these bans, these cards mean absolutely nothing other than you just lost a fortune if you've had them in your uh, commander deck and you, you, you might have been sitting on some of these cards. Yeah, sure, the value's gone up on a few of them, but the Jeweled Lotus, once again, was an absolute mistake of a card. And this was the one of the reasons why the reserve list was made in the first place was for market stability what was once a joy and excitement to make video on magic the gathering and just play the game has now become a bitter resentment for for money that could have been spent in more meaningful ways i have a shelving unit full of magic the gathering cards that are just sitting there i have no clue what to do with them if i take them to a store i'm going to get bid a low low dollar it's so low that I might as well just use it as firewood and kindling at this point. And I'm very tempted to do that. The bans show that th that mistakes were made after a massive level uh, as your, now your local game store will be taking giant losses on this product. You know, if, if any of the local game stores had this product, had this sitting there going, okay, one day this will be worth more. Usually... I, how much is a box of Commander Legends at this point? It's probably gone up, but it may have tanked the value of even an unopened box of that because of the, the cards that are in it. The follow is only just on the surface, but is going to cause even more worse outcomes for those that have made it more than just a hobby. In all honesty, the fallout of these bands that came out, you know, and what I saw in the video that I put up, talking ranting and raving people are like oh he's probably lost thousands of dollars because he's sitting on it no 
I'm literally the guy sitting across from you in a local game store trying to play a pre-release, just trying to enjoy the game, just trying to have fun. And I've lost all interest in that completely. I'd rather be here in front of you, in front of a camera, talking as a bird in front of a portal that's going to suck me to who knows where at this point. The game of Magic the Gathering, to me, is, is nowhere what it used to be. It used to be a game where you can sit there, build a deck, and actually discover something unique. I used to, some of my best videos, older videos on this channel, were some of the decks that I made, or some of the live streams I did, with janky decks. That I actually had people go, oh, hold on, hold on, who's playing this? Do they exist online? I had people seeking me out in live streams going, what is your deck? Because it was different. It wasn't the norm. I didn't play the norm. I like to experiment. But now at this point, there is no experimentation with Magic the Gathering anymore. You just go on to online. You see what decks are performing. You build that deck. You, you pay the money. You go to the entry. And then you play the game. Right? That's not where I am anymore. I don't like that. That's not what Magic the Gathering was. It's why I play Draft or Sealed over anything. Because at least you go in there semi-blind spoiler season you know a lot of people get upset with spoiler season because it's no longer spoiler season it's leaking season they have so many leaks at wizard of the coast right now for product why the it doesn't even matter for spoiler season anymore i've lost all interest in it honestly when it comes down to it the cards don't spoil them don't spoil them wizard of the coast does not need to spoil cards anymore they can just throw them out there and that's all they need to do and those in my comment section that got a little flustered or are sitting there telling me to go suck it up this is your first banning all this other stuff i've been on youtube for over five years this isn't the first banning this isn't the last banning i'll ever see with magic the gathering and honestly i'm not even playing the game anymore uh, in any sort of fashion i just have cards sitting here i'm pretty much on my lap going I'd play with me do something you know i can only put so many cards in a hand i can only do so many things with them before i sit there and go yeah i don't have any interest in it in in the game anymore i'm not following most of the game i'm not following any of the drama that's going on the 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 competitive scene you know ripe with cheaters like usual i sit there and i go no why i don't want to i don't want to play a game like this anymore i tried i tried and every distasteful thing has led me away from this game. And honestly, it's, it doesn't build people up to play this game. It just creates a competitive nature where people spend money and then you get upset when all the money you spent does nothing. Now I get to sit here in front of you as a bird and say, listen, I get to, no, I get to entertain this way. I get to wave my hands. I get to say hi. And I get to do more things this way. So why wouldn't I? Why? not just walk away. I walked away from the game a very long time ago. And uh, I deleted my arena account. Oh, I, I still have my arena account, but I, I pretty much deleted it off every system I own and said, this game does not need to be installed on this system anymore. This game does not need to be run. And I did that, I did that as a video. I did it like a two minute video showing you actually deleting the game off my computer because of the th way the game went. Magic the Gathering Arena, that in itself is an absolute debacle mess of a game. If you are still playing Magic the Gathering Arena, I'm sorry, but it's, it's stacked against you. There is no real random number generator in that game. They use an algorithm. That algorithm determines the way things go, and it's manipulated again in the back end of the game. Yes, the, the way that they have sat there and they have stacked your deck is predetermined. And if you haven't seen my previous, my older videos on this stuff, I went over how the game is completely rigged. At one point, the drafting in the game, by basic knowledge, you could sit there and follow a list and know what every single card you were able to get in the series of packs. And the bots got figured out very, very quickly. This is why I've sat there and went, this isn't for me. They're manipulating the game so hard, I can't play it anymore. It's not fun. It's frustrating because they're stacking it against you 100% of the time. Sure, there's people that rise up. Listen, I had an account. I was in mythic level all the time. And then all of a sudden, I couldn't get past gold. 
And part of that was because I have a very old account and they use the MMO, your matchmaking ratio against you. The older your account is, the harder it is for you to build that account up and the more money they try and make you to spend into it. Arena aside is absolute. It's an absolute manipulation of the way things are. If you create a new account, you have a better chance of hitting Mythic because that's the way that they're going to tie you into it. That's the way they're going to get you. That's why I can't play Arena anymore and why... On top of it, with these bannings for Commander, with these bannings for that, that needed to happen for Standard a very long time ago. Three years? Three years Standard rotation? Forget this. I'm done. The game, to me, it, it, it's just built for a competitive game and there's no sense in me continuing with that. If you want to play Magic the Gathering with me, find me at your local game store sometime in the future. And we'll sit there and we'll play some Commander. Maybe it would be at another convention that I can do that. I usually do carry a deck with me. Why? Because I still like meeting new people. I still like trying to make friends. But I don't want to make friends with people that come out with a try-hard deck that's going to win in, in the second round of the game. That's not Commander. Commander is sitting around, getting to know the people that you're playing with, maybe drinking a beer and having fun. That's not what the game has become. It, the game has become an absolute tra travesty of what it should have been. Anyway, I digressed. If you didn't like the video before, I'm sorry. If you don't like the avatar right now that you see in front of you, if you don't like the new furry fandom that I have found and fallen in love with, well, guess what? This is where we are now. This is what I'm doing now, and I'm absolutely having a blast. I'm doing what's fun for me, and Magic the Gathering is not part of it. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix Cinder Shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe.